understanding the mechanism of through wireless sensing, a model based perspective. Next, I will introduce our work from the following five aspects. First, let's introduce the research background. In recent years, wireless sensing has attracted more and more attention due to the advantages of long interest wireless, privacy protection, ease of deployment, and so on. Furthermore, Wi-Fi signals are widely available in indoor environments, enabling pervasive surveys such as activity recognition and health monitoring. At present, model-based algorithms are able to reveal the mechanisms of Wi-Fi sensing and has better portability. However, they are only applicable to line of sight things, where the wireless signal um, propagates directly to the target, and then the flagged signal is captured by the receiver as shown in the figure B. In real indoor environments, the north path is usually occurred by the wall and furniture, as shown in figure A and C, which names existing models capability of guiding the design of wireless sensing systems in long line of sight things. Therefore, a model is needed to guide the perception of non-line of sight things. This is not a simple thing. The presence of walls makes the propagation process of wireless signals become more complex due to the coexistence of reflection, refraction, and diffraction phenomena. We should explain which phenomena will play a dominant role and whether the corresponding signal can be used for activity sensing. Moreover, the system sensing capability will be severely affected in through all things due to the distortion of both ability and phase. Meanwhile, the strength of the received signal becomes much weaker due to the absorption of walls. In response to the above changes, we first propose a reflection aware linear zoom model to characterize the propagation law of wireless signals in the through wall scene and our proposed model will degrade to the original linear zoom model. We found that the presence of a wall does not simply reduce the wireless signal sensing capability, but can bring some benefits in certain cases. We demonstrated that the spatial resolution of Wi-Fi CSI can be improved due to the different permittivity of walls and air, which leads to an extra phase difference and make the linear zooms become tighter. Moreover, we propose a metric to select subspace area. Next, I will introduce our method, method in detail. In the linear zoom node in free space, the phase difference relationship between the dynamic path and the static path is, is reflected through the relationship between the length of the signal propagation path. Everyone is familiar with it, so I won't introduce it in detail. Since the permittivity of the wall and the air are different, the signal will be reflected when passing through the wall, and the propagation speed of the signal in the wall is smaller than that in the air. So the phase of the signal changes. When the transceiver is vertical to the wall, according to the linear zoom principle and the influence of the wall on the signal, the phase difference between the static path and the dynamic path is as shown in the formula. It can be found that when the thickness of the wall is zero, our model degrades into the original linear zoom model. In other words, the original linear zoom model is a spatial case of our model. Different from the vertical case, the single propagation between transceivers will undergo one more reflection. With the same idea as the vertical case, we can deduce the phase different change in the non-vertical case. According to the above geometric relationship, our model can derive three properties. First, 
the final zone is squeezed is squeezed after the schooner passed through the wall because the phase difference introduced by wall is always positive in the vertical case. Secondly, when there is a wall located vertically between between the transceivers, the received signal amplitude changes with a higher frequency and an improved spatial resolution of sensing can be achieved. Last, in the through wall scenes, the increase on the phase difference of signals in the dynamic link and the static link leads to the more obvious amplitude variation and then improves the sensing sensitivity to small moments. And we use a variety peak to value difference to as the detection index. We also do many experiments to verify our model. First, we used iron plates to conduct comparative experiments with and without walls according to the following configuration. Through experiments, we found that the same moment will pass through more finial zones when there is a wall. We also evaluated our model through breathing experiments. Using nimble elastic as a backmark experiment to evaluate breathing areas. We studied the effect of test subject position and orientation on breathing. And we found the system's respiration detection performance depends on the user's orientation. The more obvious the chest moment, the higher the recognition accuracy. In addition, we also studied the impact of other action. A panel as well as a body moment can be detected by the system. Finally, we sum summarize our work. We proposed a reflection aware wide sensing model aimed to characterize the propagation loads and sensing mechanisms of Wi Fi signals in through wall scenes. We found that the presence of wall will change the distribution of linear zones, which help improve the sensing capability of Wi Fi signals. We conducted a through wall respiration sensing system to validate the proposed model and its properties. That's all. Thank you. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no chance to give ask questions now. So if you want to reach out to the author, please do this via email. Okay, the next presentation is